Hey what's up David here with After Video Effects and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be creating this vine twist using Element 3D. Now before we begin I just noticed that on my channel that 80% of you guys are actually not subscribed to this channel. And that's totally okay you being you not wanting to subscribe. But if you guys can subscribe and that will be much appreciated. Anyways so let's take a look at what we're going to be creating. Okay, so I hope you enjoy it. So let's get straight into it. So we're going to make a new comp and call this Vine Twist. Full HD and 5 seconds long hit. Okay. And let's just go ahead and make a new solid. Call this E3D. And let's apply the element 3D layer. Jump into scene setup. Okay. So let's go ahead and create a new cylinder. And we'll make this... 8 and we'll make the radius about 0 0.05 make 30 85 30 and 0 and we've come over here to the rotation make this 90 degrees and set this to box repeat set this by 2 by 10 change it from model to dynamic deform Okay, and that's about it for the cylinder. Let's go into the front view and let's just go ahead and maybe duplicate it and then just maybe adjust the size here, duplicate it once more and just maybe put it over here, maybe even shrink it even more and just keep doing this until you have a nice uh, group of cylinders. So I'm just going to pause the recording and just do this quickly. Okay, so I've got about uh, 16 to 18 cylinders. The more the better, so let me tell you that. Uh, okay, so once we've got our group here, we can go ahead and just apply a material on this. So I'm just going to go with uh, tree bark number 3. And if we just go over here, if you hold down Alt and then just click the cylinder, it will actually just jump to the cylinder. So let's go ahead and change this. Well, let's first actually apply to all, and then let's change the tint to more like a green color here. Maybe darker. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Now let's go ahead and add an environment. So I'm just going to go with uh, this parking environment. That looks pretty good. Alright, so once you've got that, we can go back into After Effects. And let's go ahead and make a new camera. We'll make it 28 millimeters hit. Okay. Let's go ahead and just give this a new light. Let's give it a parallel light. Just crank this up. Give it a yellow. Let's make this about 500. Hit OK. And let's just drag it up here so that we can see it. OK. And let's go ahead and just maybe duplicate it. Just slide this over here. Let me reduce it to about 250 or maybe 200 and let's just go ahead and make an ambient light make this about 30 percent just to get some nice even lighting okay now let's go ahead into the group uh, look and the form let's enable twist and if we twist this on z-axis and two evolutions we can see we're giving this a nice twist here so check this out it's a nice twist so what I can do is actually just maybe adjust some of the uh, twist settings here so maybe we can just give it a little bit of a phase of like 20 
and let's go into the particle replicator change this to 3d grid and just set all these to one and set this to two and we'll scale this up okay i might actually jump back in here and just adjust this a little bit more so i might just give this a little bit of well just give this more cylinders so and i'll just make this a little white so that i can have a look at it so what i can do here is just maybe adjust it so maybe just put one down here here and here and maybe just adjust the size of these so maybe just point four here yep okay there we go now it's looking a little bit better and let's go ahead and just give this a little, maybe a little bit of a bend on the z-axis so about 90 and just maybe about five degrees uh sorry minus five so it's bending up a little bit okay and let's just position this so that we can get a nice camera view okay so once we've got a nice camera angle here we can go ahead and go into the render settings let's turn on shadows and just be sure that our lights have the shadow harsh shadow setting on and let's go into ambient occlusion and turn on ray trace so that looks a better and we can even just maybe adjust the lighting for this so maybe we can just bring this intensity down to maybe like 400 instead okay and let's go ahead and add our background into this i'll provide the link for where you can download this let's make it a 3d layer and let's just turn off lights and let's just position this somewhere along here maybe scale it up just position it like here like that okay and we can even add some adjustment lens. so control y control y and we'll call this cc and we'll call this vignette okay let's go ahead and just add a curves adjustment to this and just bring this down and just use it do our usual vignette trick here let's put this out to 400 pixels okay and we'll just add these in so let's bring this down to like 30 percent and give it a little bit of mystical darkness go to the red channel take this some of that away and go to the blue channel and just maybe add a little bit of blue and go to the green channel and just add some of that green back in okay and let's go ahead and maybe we can adjust our twist here maybe we can make this like one 180 270 something uh, that looks okay and let's go ahead and just maybe go into the output and just double the shadows a bit so maybe bumps up to maybe 1.5 for the shadows here and let's adjust the animation for this so if we go into a and then shift p for the camera settings we can set a keyframe move forward and then just okay so we got a nice camera movement here and we can even play with the phase here so if we just go into twist and set a keyframe for the phase move forward maybe we can just set this to like 
30. Okay. Uh, we just wanted to make it subtle. And we can turn on depth of field. And that will really show some depth of field here. So maybe we can just turn the aperture up. It's about 40. And maybe the focus distance. Somewhere about there is pretty good. Maybe 250. Okay, so let's go and check out our preview. All right, let's check it out. Nice. Okay, so we can even adjust this even more. So maybe with our color correction, we can even add a little bit more green. Like that, and maybe take away some more red. We can go to the RGB and just maybe chop this down to make it a little bit more mystical. Something like that. We can even go back into our element 3D layer and maybe adjust some of these. So maybe we can maybe we can get rid of some of the ones inside. So maybe maybe for this one. Uh, we can just scale that one up to maybe like 0 0.03 and this one and maybe for this one we can just uh, this tiny one up here 0 0.25 Just play with the settings here. And okay. Alrighty, so maybe we can, one last thing we can do is just adjust the camera angle. So I'm just going to turn off my depth of field here. And just maybe just twist this camera a bit. Something like that. Okay. Just change this to 30. All right, so that's pretty much it, guys. So that's how you do this fine twist look. So thank you, everyone. My name's David. I hope you learned interesting techniques that you can use for your own creations. Please give a like if you like this video so people can find it. Subscribe if you want to see more, and be sure to hit that bell button to get the notifications. And comment down below if you have any questions. And I will see you in the next video.